All right, so I'm hanging out right here at uh, Rum Runners Co. and Wimpy's. Down here at the Delta, it's right next to New Hope Marina too. A lot of space out here. They're getting ready for a big Father's Day weekend event. So if you don't have anything planned, come on down to the river, check things out. Look at this concert right here. Nice stage. They're gonna have three different groups here. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got the owners here. You mind saying hi real quick? So I'm D Wong Lee. So how you doing? How you doing? So I have a fishing video, YouTube thing, and all these YouTube things. But I'm on school counselor by trade. But me and my friends go. So anyways, uh, man, I might bring my wife down here. So you're staying on Father's Day right now? We'll see. I asked if I gotta bring her down here. Hey, if I don't keep her, if I don't keep her happy, if I don't keep her happy, right? If I don't keep her happy. So we're at Rum Runners Cove at Wimpy's. And I've been fishing here since 32, since I was 17, 32 years. And I did the same little spot. I used to have a little aluminum boat and came right down here. Yeah. Five, literally on the other side of the bridge, well, on, a six pounder. Yeah, let me check it out real quick here. So yeah, let's show, let's show, the, let's show the crowd what the expect. You know what this reminds me of is we like to go listen to music over by the airport. Um, but it, this is another, this is a, another area on the other side. Cause okay. Oh, nice. This room right here is going to be a full retail pirate store and Wimpy store. So you can buy sunglasses, right. shot glasses, t-shirts, all the Wimpy's and Rum Runners, uh, Empire, uh, Devil's Compass. Uh. I also have a guillotine coming and a, uh, English pillow block where you stick your head in it and your arms and they shut the wood on and you throw tomatoes at you. Nice. Uh, this room right here where the pirate's standing, we're gonna put a, a 30 foot roll up door right there and that's gonna be a full jungle bar with alligators, bar, uh, parrots, monkeys, <laughs> and a 2,000 gallon fish tank in the wall. Wow. And that's already started. That's awesome. And then this deck where we get open. Oh, that's beautiful. The, the tiki bar at the end once we get control oh. of it again. Wow. It's gonna be swings all around it with two roll up doors on oh. it. Wow. And when I close all the roll up doors, it's gonna look like downtown St. Augustine. Now. Wow. This is a gem. This is a gem. I mean, you're, you're along the river. Everybody comes down. I used to come down here with my first bass fishing tournament. We used to all gang, come in this door, put our forty dollars in. Yeah. Every boat to put forty bucks in, and then top three got money. And now, was seventeen years old, my 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 um, my mentor, yeah. he yeah, come on down. I'm like, yeah. and he just passed away like oh, wow. last year. So this is like, Wimpy's is. And I come down, I'm, I busted up my knee right here, like oh, yeah. skiing this year. I did first time bass, yeah. bass fishing. Wow. My buddy said, I'm like, look at that place. It's incredible. <laughs> and then go down here, boom, fishing's still incredible. Well, what we're, gonna, we're also putting in 15 tough sheds in our campground areas with picnic tables and uh, fire pits that you can barbecue on. And that way it's got an LED light in it, a small AC unit, one plug. So if you're totally intoxicated mm -hmm. driving here, or on your boat instead mm. of getting a twenty thousand dollar DUI and all the paying out, mm. you can stay in one of our bunk houses for sixty bucks a night with six people. It's an experience. You're yeah. you're this is that's cheap and for an experience. Here, this is gonna be a full blown grocery store up here. Oh yeah. Here and then, uh, also for house boaters and boaters. That's gonna be our office up there and the restaurant here, once we get them out, this is gonna be a deck coming off outside with a glass on it so you can sit outside and dine. We're gonna do 5.30 in the morning, open for breakfast, veterans and first responders with coffee and breakfast burritos. Uh, we're gonna keep the breakfast open till 10 and then we're gonna do your own, build your own burger joint. So you buy a one pound Angus burger and then you go down our assembly line and build it yourself. Hey, I'll get people here. I'll be yeah. here. I'll, well, this is, you know what? This is what people need, you know? People are tired of being at home. Oh, nice. I love that place. two years in Roatan, two years in Costa Rica, and a couple of years down in Florida in the Keys, so I've traveled all over the Caribbean. Yeah. And what I'm doing is bringing that kind of vacation feeling back into the Delta. No, I feel it. stop the tunnels, right? No, I agree. No, I've been, no, stop the tunnels and keep the water down here and... Yep. But uh, yeah, no, I go down to Cabo to fish for, um, we fish all over down there for tuna. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, so well, yeah, I, no, I, so if the people the have been to Cabo, Cabo, it's right were, here. The pirate ships in Cabo were mine. I did all the boost crews, whale watching and snorkel diving. The Buccaneer and the Buccaneer Queen, I, those were my deal down there. Nice. So anyway, down here, you got the pirate floating bar. 
this right here, I put five floating tables in it with LED underwater oh, lighting. That's sick. So you can stand in here and drink. And we went down with our dive gear on, raked the whole bottom clean. I got to get the plants out of it again this year, but it's all fresh sand in here. So you can stand down here and drink your cervezas and uh, your margaritas and be in the water. I put uh, sprinklers over the whole ground in here, uh, eight to uh, uh, 15 feet high. So if it's 110 outside, I can turn the sprinklers on. It works as a water mister down here. Wow. It hardly gets to 110 here, and that's why people need to come to the Delta. Right. If it gets hot, you gotta come down to the Delta, yep. and you'll cool off, right and now. you can have water even, you just be next to the, the energy here, yeah. and you will, Hey, can I get aboard that? Is that flow? Oh, yeah, no, that's my it's ship. Still... I built it. So anyways, wow. I put the ladders in the water that uh, retract to come in and out oh, of the nice. water. I also put drill rings and fire extinguishers on all the docks. We Did just rebuilt the fuel system here. So ring brand new. We, for 30 some years, we always launched a new hope. This is the first time my buddy said, hey, let's launch, I like Wimpy's now. Let's launch it. It's so what you're doing. Other bass boats, they need to know, like, it's, uh, it, you can launch well, your bass boat now. Bass guys, just tell them, look. Mm -hmm. All boats have different hulls. The law is no wakes in the marina zone because mm. they don't understand that the hull changes, even at five miles an hour, cause a big wake. When you can take that 76 ton boat doing five miles an hour and bounce me off the dock, you're going too fast mm. on your hull speed. Mm. And also what it does too is the barrels that are under the docks here, I've ended up having to strap them from them. And it's mainly bass boats and jets. Yeah. They come through so fast, the docks start jumping all over the place after we just rebuilt them. What they don't understand it makes the barrels come out and cracks the decks. I mean, it really ruins things. You know what? I'm going to post these things because <clears throat> you got to take care of your area. And if you want to come back after you just got done striking a 25 bag limit on the yeah. Delta, you got to come back and well, kind of hang out at this place and eat some food. Exactly. But you got to help out the owner by kind of take care of the place and polite respect to the boater. But you know what? That's what we put that band made trick in so we do that way it's oh, yeah. plastic so it won't ruin your boat. And I bought the best rubber money could buy for all the docks. Uh, Jerry and Nancy and I bought the, we did number one on everything. And no, so I they, noticed the corner you ones. You without a fender on your boat and the rubbers won't fuck your boat up. That's what I just, the number one thing I, we backed in, I said, those are, people care about your boat. If they put those corner ones on, the corner bumpers put, Docks, it was a finger out here, right? Yeah. So I took all those big ugly concrete fenders out, fingers out, because you can only use about probably three or four boats in there for parking. So what I did is I made it all stern tied, and I actually had boats come in, and we actually oh. stern tied them in here to make sure the cleats were in the Let's right Let's check out spot. the front of this boat. Wow. And I put the big cleats on the outside, and we're getting ready to put power and water on this dock. It already has the internet. Yeah. That you know what? Somebody who does that is somebody who knows what they're doing. Those are the details that help. But I mean, you don't realize that so you jack up your boat, you wish right. that, and that owner's not gonna fix it. Now this already has underwater LED lights in it. So I put a cable from the pole here to yeah. the tree. Nice. And on Tuesday night, we're gonna have family night out yeah. here. So I light this up with blue LEDs. You oh, can see cool. the fish underwater. <laughs> I put a movie screen across, and you can float around with your kids or grandkids out here, right. eat popcorn and watch Jaws mm -hmm. on the water. You know what, this is what America So my thing is, I like what you do and you hear all this stuff and people want to keep you back and people want to tell you can't do it. Yep. But then you just, do it. this is your vision. Yep. So you're always going to have people in everything we do as I'm a school counselor oh, and yeah. students, yeah. trust me, everybody's going to say, you can't do this. Mm -hmm. You can't have a place of your own where you welcome people and say, look at, this is my image. Well, I also have a 501c3 on the boat oh, as soon as wow. I finish my USCG because I'm having the boat yeah. Coast Guard certified. I'll be able to take uh, teams out for sail training. Oh, wow. And I work with troubled youth. You know what? That's the craziest thing we're crossing because I used to be a, a school counselor for adult ed and mm -hmm. we actually did a Maritime Academy program. And that's this is exactly what we're looking for because the Maritime yeah. don't have enough people to work. Right. They need young laborers. So sometimes instead of going to the military, you can go and make money and make yeah. a lot of money and then get out or stay in. Well, sometimes it's not all about oh. money either. But yeah. Sometimes it's just adventure. out to help people and get interest in it. Listen, you know, your adventures. Certain, certain adventures from our past from the 15, 16, 1700s is cool, you know? I'm, it's like me building yeah. that boat. How many people oh. in a lifetime get to build a boat from the 1700s? You know what I mean? You know, the, this whole time I'm You know boats well, see, and things. my family came from Sicily. Yeah. And, I, I'm and it's the other technology. Oh, that's sick. The Blackbeard, and this tattoo was no done way. by 
this, this tattoo is done by Seth Enlow in Newport Beach. What's your name? Uh, uh, what, who, who do you want to go guy? by? No, you. Oh, Pirate Dan. Dan Pirate Catalano. Dan. All right, now that's... You know what? I was a history teacher for three years, U.S. history for three years, two years for world history. And this is right here is what I taught for world history. <laughs> yeah, no. Pirate history. That's what it was about. Yeah. It wasn't so much, you know. Well, people don't realize in the pirate era, mm -hmm. uh, free trade wasn't allowed to know, but through commoners, right? Mm -hmm. Well, pirates created free trade by commandeering ships and sharing the wealth and trade, right? They also were the first ones to have insurance on a ship. If you got hurt, you got extra shillings on an attack, right? So it was how they created insurance. Then a democracy was actually started on a pirate ship because you couldn't gamble on board. You couldn't drink till you're at anchor. They had rules that lights out, shift changes, and, and that way they kept no fights, no killings, and nobody accusing anybody of anything on the ship. And the English actually picked that up from pirates. It makes so there's sense. there's a lot of good history. No, everything. There's a lot of good pirates that never even yeah. killed a person, but took down, you know, six, yeah. seven hundred Spanish fleet, too. If you get the bad name somehow, I mean, there's there's well, good people here. You like know, the word buccaneer. You know what that really means in the French? It's a French, uh, French word. What does it mean? It means jerky maker. Really? Yeah. Hey, can we go on there? Yeah. My buddy's got to get back. I forgot he's got a little. He's got a one year old. Yeah. And so he took me out. I this first time I've been out. I had a, just a little history. The yeah. boat was built in Pillar Point, 1968 by a company out of Dartmouth, England, and it's built out of the leftover remains from the Golden Gate Bridge. It's Kevlar Composite Polymark. Uh, it was designed and built by a company out of, uh, like I said, Dartmouth, England. Uh, built 1968 Pillar Point as a top replica of the original uh, boat built in 1768 called the Sultana, which was built to protect the coast of Massachusetts from pirates. And I built it into a pirate ship. I bought the whole